The continuous stream of ionizing radiation from the sun is found to be primarily responsible for the formation of the ionosphere. During the daytime when the Earth is facing the sun, the ionosphere reaches its peak around noon and throughout the afternoon. As the sunlight decreases towards sunset, the level of ions in the ionosphere gradually declines due to a reduction in photoionization at sunset. At night the ionosphere diminishes mainly due to ions recombining into atoms through collisions of ionized radicals. This process occurs both day and night but during daylight photoionization exceeds recombination causing the ionosphere to peak by afternoon. Due to the solar spectral frequencies the varying layers of the region of ionosphere from about 60 kilometers to about 1000 kilometers are ionized by solar radiation to form different species of ions with the heaviest of the ions at the bottom. This produces an ionosphere stratified into different layers. The layers of ionosphere are D, E, and F layer, with the D layer at the bottom from 60 kilometers to 90 kilometers having the heaviest ions and radicals. The ionosphere and the neutral upper atmosphere form the boundary between Earth's lower atmosphere, our habitat, and the vacuum of space. Above 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers in altitude, charged particles in the ionosphere rarely collide. Their movements are influenced only by Earth's gravity, magnetic fields, and electric fields. The ionosphere glows due to interactions between ionic discharges and neutral gases. This air glow helps us study the ionosphere as each gas emits a specific color based on its type, altitude, and excitation process. The most intense and dynamic auroras are created in the ionosphere due to its composition. For more content like this, please subscribe to our channel, like and share the videos with your friends, and click the notification bell for latest uploads.